Hey, my name is Imran and today we're going to talk about how to access uh, value uh, from one page to another uh, using the session super globals in a form okay so we create two files one is index.php and second is script.php uh, script.php is where we'll send the user once the form is submitted so let's create a form first okay uh, so let's do that the form action will be script.php this is where we will send the user once the pro, uh, form is submitted method is post okay and let's say it has a username input text name is username okay and then as submit field name submit value submit cool okay now in case if the form is submitted so since we're sending the user to script.php once the form is submitted we come to script.php and we write if is set which means if the dollar underscore post submit is set and it is not empty not empty post okay so so if the form is submitted which means if the dollar underscore post is uh, set and if it is not empty then go ahead and use the header function and send the user back to index.php okay so we use this function location index.php this actually sends the user back to index.php let's try it and test it okay localhost test okay we got a form over here so you type user submit so you back to index.php okay now um, if there is some value that we want to access onto index.php we can store that value in session variable test let's say test is equal to test now we want to access this value dot underscore session uh, in index.php so let's try to access that first echo test so if we do that you see that we've got an error saying that dot underscore session is not available it's undefined and the reason why is because we have not started the session so what we really need to do is we need to start a session first so we use the function called session start which starts the function we need to start the function in index.php and we also need to start the function in script.php it's really important that we start the function at both places we also need to end the session so we can end the session at the end of this index.php using session destroy but make sure you don't end the session here don't use session destroy here because if you destroy the session here we won't be able to access this value of the session on index.php okay so let's get rid of that okay now we also put a condition over here that if the dollar underscore session is set so and if it is set and also if the value is there inside it which means it's not empty then go ahead and echo this message okay cool so let's test this program 
you go ahead and put the username you submit it you've got the value test on index.php so just to recap what we're doing over here is that we're starting a session on index.php we've got a form over here which uh, is sending the user to a script.php file once it's submitted uh, on script.php file we are starting session as well so that we can access this value um, this particular value uh, is we will be able to access it on index.php now here we are checking if the form is submitted if it is then send the user back to index.php and because we've started the session the value of the dot underscore session will be available in index.php so here we can access it we can check if it's if it's set and if it's got the value if it is then echo you can do any, any sort of thing with this dot underscore session so this is basically used uh, in case you've got lots of functions running in uh, script.php like you know inserting data into database um, you know doing different sort of things and uh, later on if there is an error message that you want to throw on the index.php um, obviously those values won't be accessible in index.php because we're using the header location function so to connect it to, so that the, those error messages can be displayed we can store the error messages in the dollar underscore session and then we can use it here okay so we can do another one as well like uh, dollar underscore session error error message error again we can check it over here similarly error message error message error we just use the br tag to make it more readable let's try that we submit the form and here we got the error as well okay so i hope uh, you like the video if you do please like subscribe and comment to my channel Thank you so much. Uh, this is Imran. Take care. Bye for now.